morning to one and a present here. <coughs> I am Jagdishwari uh, from the Akshaya College of Engineering in the Department of Civil Engineering. Today I am going to take a topic about human resource management uh, in from in uh, G3751 from the subject of principles of management. So what is the uh, human resource management? Uh, it observes that uh, human resource management hatch or m so what is meant by human resource management it includes all activities used to uh, attract and retain the employees and to ensure the perform at a higher level in meeting and uh, achieving a uh, good organization goals within a shorter time so what are the activities or made up comes under the HRM? So first one is recruitment and selection and training period and development, then performance appraisal and feedback and, pay and benefits and labor relationships. These are the activities which comes under the human resource management. So what are the components uh, used in HRM system means first one is uh, uh, pay and rewards and then works to one is labor relationship. Uh, uh, recruitment and selections, training period, and performance appraisal and feedback. So these are the chain relationship interlinked with the components of HRM system. I already told that in first slide. So in HRM components, first uh, should be consistent with the others organization structure and strategy. So uh, in recruitment, what we have to do is uh, first develop a pool of qualified applicants. So in the selections, we have to remain the relative qualifications and potential for the job. In training and development, if one selected that uh, uh, applicants, ongoing process to develop workers' abilities and skills. So then performance appraisal and feedback, it provides information about how to train, motivate and reward workers. So it means it can evaluate, uh, the managers can evaluate and then give feedback to enhance the worker performance in the performance appraisal. And then next, so we have uh, going to say about pay and benefits. What are the pay and benefits given the uh, organizations once applicants selected in that company? So high performance employees should be rewarded with the raises or any bonus. So it increase the pay provides additional intensive and benefits such as health insurance and any reward membership uh, for that work. So in that lab relationship, uh, managers need an effective relationship with labors unions. Uh, it will represent the workers that uh, union will help the, as to establish the pay or working conditions. So uh, finally, I concluded that if management moves to the centralized structure and HRM should be adjusted as well. So checking your present here uh, to watch this video.